You ask, how can I photograph my artwork like a pro? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to this comprehensive guide where we will explore the fascinating world of artwork photography. In the digital age, presenting your artwork in the best possible light is no longer a luxury but a necessity. As an artist, your creations deserve to be showcased in all their splendor. High-quality images can make a world of difference, especially when it comes to building your online portfolio or selling your artwork. Think about it, the quality of your photos can be the deciding factor between a sale and a pass. Your images need to capture not just the colors and details, but also the emotion and soul of your work. So, are you ready to level up your game, to transform your artwork photos from May to wow, to make your creation stand out in the vast sea of online art? Let's dive in! First things first, you need the right gear. But don't worry, it doesn't have to break the bank. To capture your artwork in the best light, you'll need some essential photography equipment. The heart of your setup is, of course, a good quality camera. A DSLR or mirrorless camera is often the go-to choice for professionals due to their versatility and image quality. These cameras allow you to control every aspect of your shot, from the focus to the exposure. But hey, don't be intimidated, there are plenty of entry-level models that are both affordable and user-friendly. Now, if a DSLR or mirrorless camera isn't within your budget, that doesn't mean you can't take great photos of your artwork. A high-end point-and-shoot camera can also do the job. And let's not forget the camera that's probably right in your pocket. Yes, with a bit of know-how, your smartphone can be a powerful tool for photographing your art. Next on our list is a tripod. This is essential for keeping your camera steady and ensuring sharp, clear images. A sturdy, adjustable tripod will allow you to position your camera at the perfect height and angle for your artwork. If you're on a tight budget, you might even consider a DIY solution. With a little creativity, you can make a makeshift tripod from everyday items. All you need is something stable that can hold your camera in place. Lighting is another key component. Natural light is your best friend when photographing artwork, but sometimes it's not enough or it's just not available. In these cases, a good set of lights can make a world of difference. Look for lights with adjustable brightness and color temperature to give you full control over your lighting conditions. Finally, consider investing in a light box or light tent if you're photographing smaller pieces. These tools help to diffuse light and reduce shadows for a clean professional look. With the right equipment in hand, you're ready for the next step. Setting up your artwork. Now that you've got your equipment, it's time to set up your artwork for the perfect shot. First things first, where you place your artwork matters. You'll want to choose a location that has good, natural lighting. Think a room with large windows or an outdoor setting on a sunny day. Natural light brings out the true colors of your artwork, helping to avoid any harsh shadows or artificial tones. If natural light is scarce, don't fret. You can also use artificial light sources like soft boxes or LED panels to illuminate your artwork evenly. But remember, the direction of light plays a significant role too. To capture the best details of your artwork, the light should come from a 45-degree angle. This angle helps create a balance of light and shadow, enhancing the depth and dimension in your artwork. Now let's talk about the background. The backdrop can either make or break your shot. It should contrast with your artwork and not compete with it. A simple neutral colored background often works best. It allows your artwork to stand out and it doesn't distract the viewer. Next, consider the angle of your shot. Generally, you'll want to photograph your artwork straight on, at eye level. This straightforward approach ensures that your artwork is the main focus and minimizes distortion. But feel free to experiment with different angles. You might stumble upon a unique perspective that truly enhances your artwork. Lastly, don't forget to secure your artwork. Make sure it's stable and won't move during the shoot. Use a stand or easel if necessary. This stability is crucial to ensure sharp, clear photos. Setting up your artwork might take a bit of time and patience, but remember the setup is just as important as the shot itself. A well-set scene can make the difference between a good photo and a great one. Once your artwork is set up perfectly, it's time to turn to your camera settings. Camera settings might seem daunting, but they're your best friend when photographing artwork. Let's start by untangling the basics, ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Imagine ISO as your camera's sensitivity to light, a low ISO number like 100 will make your camera less sensitive to light, while a high ISO like 2000 will make it more sensitive. However, keep in mind that a higher ISO can also introduce more digital noise or grain into your image. So, if you're photographing in a well-lit environment, stick with a lower ISO. Next up, we have shutter speed. This is the length of time your camera's shutter is open, allowing light to hit the sensor. 
Shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second. A faster shutter speed like 1 over 250th of a second will freeze action, while a slower shutter speed like 1 over 30th of a second can create a motion blur effect. For artwork photography, you typically want to avoid motion blur, so a faster shutter speed is generally better. Finally, let's talk about aperture. This refers to the size of the opening in your lens through which light enters. Aperture is measured in f-stops, with lower numbers like f1, 8 indicating a larger opening and higher numbers like f16 indicating a smaller one. A larger aperture lets in more light and creates a shallow depth of field, which can blur the background while keeping the subject in sharp focus. On the other hand, a smaller aperture lets in less light but gives you a greater depth of field, keeping more of the scene in focus. For artwork photography you'll generally want a larger depth of field so opt for a higher f-stop number. By understanding and manipulating these three elements, ISO, shutter speed and aperture, you can control the amount of light in your image, the clarity of your subject and the overall mood of your photo. It's a delicate balancing act. But once you get the hang of it, the possibilities are endless. With a grasp on camera settings, you're ready to start shooting. Now comes the fun part, it's time to start shooting. Photographing your artwork is an art in itself, a beautiful dance between the lens and the canvas. It begins with framing. Don't just aim and click. Instead, consider the composition of your shot. Ensure the artwork fills the frame, leaving minimal space around the edges. But remember, it's crucial to capture the entire piece, nothing less, nothing more. Now let's talk focus. Your camera's autofocus is a handy tool, but for artwork photography, manual focus can be your best friend. By manually adjusting the focus, you ensure the sharpest, clearest image of your masterpiece. So, tweak that focus until your artwork pops into razor-sharp clarity. But don't stop at one shot. Multiple shots from different angles can give you a variety of perspectives. And who knows? The side angle might just capture the texture of your brush strokes in a way the frontal shot missed. Now let's chat a bit about lighting. Natural, diffused light is your best ally. It brings out the true colors of your artwork without casting harsh shadows or glares. So if you can, choose a well-lit room with plenty of indirect sunlight. But if you're shooting at night or in a dimly lit space, don't despair. You can still create beautiful, well-lit photos with the right artificial lighting setup. And here's a little pro tip. Use a tripod. It's a simple tool that can make a world of difference. It keeps your camera steady, eliminating those pesky little shakes that can blur your photo. Plus, it allows you to spend time fine-tuning your frame and focus without having to worry about holding your camera. So take a deep breath, steady your hands, and click that shutter. Capture your artwork in its best light, from its best angle, in its sharpest focus. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time. Photography is patience. Once you've got your shots, it's time for the final step. Editing. A little editing can go a long way in making your artwork photos look professional. It's true and it's an important part of the process. Let's dive into some basic photo editing techniques that can truly elevate your artwork photography game. First up, cropping. Cropping can help you eliminate any unwanted elements in the photo or help you focus more on the artwork itself. Remember, the aim is to make your artwork the star of the show, so don't hesitate to trim off any distractions. Next, let's talk about color correction. This is a vital step in ensuring that the colors in your photo match those of your actual artwork. Most editing software offers tools that allow you to adjust the hues, saturation, and vibrancy of your image. Play around with these until you're satisfied that your photo accurately represents your piece. Then comes sharpening. A little bit of sharpening can add clarity and bring out the details in your artwork, but be careful not to overdo it. Too much sharpening can make your image look unnatural. The key here is subtlety. Now, you might be wondering, what software should I use for editing? Well, there are several options available. Adobe Photoshop is a popular choice among professionals due to its wide range of tools and features. Lightroom, also from Adobe, is another excellent option, particularly for color correction. If you're looking for something a bit more budget-friendly, GIMP is a free alternative that still offers a robust set of editing tools. Remember, each of these software options has a learning curve. Don't be discouraged if you don't master them overnight. There are plenty of tutorials available online to help you get the hang of them. Editing your photos is just as much an art as creating your artwork. It involves a lot of trial and error, and it requires patience. But the result is well worth the effort. And there you have it, a professional photo of your artwork. With these editing techniques up your sleeve, you're well on your way to capturing your artwork in its best light. 
You've learned a lot today about photographing your artwork, let's do a quick recap. We began by understanding the importance of artwork photography and the essential equipment needed. Remember, investing in a good camera and lighting setup is the first step to achieving professional results. Next, we went through how to set up your artwork. The key here is to ensure proper lighting and positioning of your art piece. We then dove into the nitty-gritty of camera settings, where we learned about ISO, shutter speed and aperture, and how these factors can dramatically affect your final image. Moving on, we covered shooting your artwork, emphasizing the importance of different angles and compositions. We concluded with editing your photos, where we explored the power of post-production in enhancing your artwork's appeal. Now you're equipped to photograph your artwork like a pro. Go ahead and give it a shot.